Hey guys, even here and boom, look at this, look at this. I was wondering what Brandon Curry was about. He didn't really post a lot of physique updates lately, but look at this back. It really reminds me of Phil Heath's back at his best and look at the legs as well. They look bigger, they look, I'll just say it right here, right now, right away. This is your 2021 Mr. Olympia. Yes, I think there are very slim chances of Big Remy beating him this year. I think last year, the only reason why Brandon lost is because he played the conditioning game, because he thought he was going to be facing Phil Heath. They made a mistake not going for fullness and they're not going to repeat the same mistake this year. Look at his most muscular, look at the legs, he improved the legs. And he's overall just much, much better. He was better last year too, but he was over-conditioned. He lost a lot of the fullness, a lot of size, a lot of roundness, and especially the legs. The legs suffered the most and that's why he lost to to big Remy, I think overall Brandon Curry is a much higher quality competitor, much better bodybuilder. Yes, big Remy is a freak, but the quality of the muscle, the proportions, the lines, the shape and everything, Brandon Curry is just a masterpiece. Guys, look at this, I mean, look at this madness here. Now the legs do look bigger, the glutes, the hamstrings for sure, and look at the quad sweep as well. And when he turns around, look at the legs, look at the side leg, look at the, the, the quads. The outer sweep as well, <laughs> look at those adductors, they grew so much. Yes, they will be dwarfed by Big Grammy's legs for sure, but still, it's a good balance. It looks good, it looks balanced, and again, the same thing I said before, they know this time around, they will not go for conditioning, it's not necessary, Big Grammy will not be shredded to the bone, he will not bring Sean Roden level of conditioning or Phil Heath level of conditioning, no, no, he will be big, and for the guy of that size, he will be probably decently conditioned, hopefully, maybe he will completely fail with conditioning, it happened so many times before, we don't know, let's say he brings good conditioning, like it was last year, maybe few percents better, it's still not crazy conditioning, it's still pretty smooth and not detailed enough, especially that upper inner part of the quads, and overall, I mean, the, the lower back as well, overall, he's just a little bit thick skinned, you guys know that. Yes, a super freak monster if you talk about the size, but look at Brandon Curry right now. How much size could he add to this frame? And what are the weaknesses? When I'm watching this video, I'm not thinking his, uh, his legs are too small. They don't look small. It just all looks balanced. I'm sure it's gonna be a little bit of a problem on stage. The videos in the gym are probably a little bit deceiving, I know that, but I don't know, maybe he just improved that much. It doesn't really matter, even if he didn't make these kind of improvements. And I think he did improve, I think he looks much, much better, especially in that back, the back looks ridiculous. I still think if they played the cards right last year, they could have won. And now they know what to do, they have more experience, and they know what to expect from other competitors. Look at this muscular, just, just, just perfect, just beautiful. What aesthetics, I mean, look at the, 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 the tiny, small waist and everything, he's already conditioned basically enough. This is gonna be a good year for Brandon Curry, I'm expecting him to regain his title. I think he improved, I think he's that good, and I think he will be conditioned with small waist, with these super crazy cartoonish proportions. I really highly doubt that Big Grammy's legs are gonna be enough to take Brandon Curry out. I don't think so, I think he's gonna be the Mr. Olympia, whatever you guys think, tell me down below. Wow, I said that really fast. <laughs> Anyways, Big Grammy, talking about him, this is his most recent update. Not really much of an update, he's covered basically, you cannot even see his arms, you can see his forearms, and you can see that he is big, yes, as big Remy gets, <laughs> and there is about how many, 10 weeks, something like that, a little bit less, until Mr. Olympia, so yes, that's plenty of time for him to get shredded, he probably doesn't need to grow anymore, so he's good, he's good, he, he doesn't need to make any more improvements, really, maybe a lower lats, he could work on that, but it could be just conditioning issue, and as far as the upper leg details, I think it's also just conditioning. I don't think he's lacking any muscle in his legs by any means. So based on this update right here, you can get an idea of his size. And I mean, you can just compare it to his head. Basically, you can see that he is big, he didn't lose any muscle, even though he hasn't really been uploading pretty much any any updates, no guest posings, nothing. He is the Mr. Olympia, he did zero promotion for the sport this year, zero, nothing. He made no videos, no guest appearances, wasn't active on social media, on Instagram, nothing, really. And it sucks, I want the Mr. Olympia presenter to be active, to be promoting the sport, to do something, man, I mean, what the hell is this? 
Again, yes, Dorian Yates, he didn't do that, and he was good enough, and he won the show every year, and I don't think the judges will uh, make him lose because of that, I don't think so, I think the judges are fair, especially at that level, that's the highest level possible, but uh, me personally, I'm just not liking the fact that he wasn't very active, but it is what it is, I mean, you can't force the guy, so right now he's looking big, he's not showing any conditioning, we'll see how conditioned will he be at the Mr. Olympia, but... I'm expecting him to be the same at the best, maybe like the best case scenario, 2% sharper, but most likely 5 to 8% worse. I think that's the most realistic outcome. Whatever you guys think, tell me. Is Bonek over or can he dethrone Big Ramy and win the Mr. Olympia because he was able to beat Big Ramy last year at the Arnold Classic? Yes, Big Ramy was off, that's true, but still Bonek, he is a dangerous competitor, yes smaller frame shorter guy thicker waist all that but what a what a what a bubbly kind of physique i mean he has a ton of muscle in his frame another guy that doesn't need to make any improvements muscularity wise he just needs to come you know in his usual shape he just needs to maintain and to figure out how to peak perfectly that's it right now at about how many seven weeks out of Arnold classic he looks amazing he looks 3D, the chest is popping, I mean, it's pumped, yes, but it's popping, he, he gained all the muscle that he lost in that offseason that he wasn't uh, using here, probably, so right now, he looks great, can he win Arnold Classic? I have a bet on him, I think he, has, he is my safest bet to win this Arnold Classic, what about the Mr. Olympia, though? I'm guessing the best chance possible for him is like to beat Hardy somehow and to be third after Brandon and Remy, maybe if Big Remy comes off, like he was at the Arnold, yeah, then Bonac can take him out, I don't think Bonac will take out Hadi, no, I don't think so, I think Hadi is, he improved enough to just uh, outclass Bonac, I think Bonac is uh, on, a, on a down path, I think he's just digressing every year, maybe this year is gonna be different, because he took that offseason, maybe he's gonna make improvements, but uh, from what we saw in the last couple of years, I think, uh, I think he's kind of starting to fade away, I wish he proves me wrong though, because he does look amazing here, we'll see what it's gonna look like on stage. This is where Hadi is at right now, look at that leg, look at that quadricep, what the hell, look at all the, <laughs> all the details, the vascularity, oh, all the muscle just popping, like it's gonna burst out of that skin, it just looks ridiculous, it, it's just insane, he very well might win the Mr. Olympia. He might take out Big Ramy and Brandon Curry. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't see why not. I mean, it's kind of a bold statement because of, it, because of his structure. Uh, smaller arms, uh, I think his delts are really oiled up heavily. I think his back is not that good. So he does have a lot of flaws, but a lot of freak factors. And the quality of the muscle, of the certain muscles like quads, chest. He has really good abs too. So some of those freakier body parts are gonna take him a long way. Long enough to win the Mr. Olympia? Not very likely. Possibly? Maybe. Maybe. Sure. How many impressive physique updates I'm gonna see today? Look at this back double bicep of Wesley Wissers. Look at the details in the shoulders. Look at the arms and the back itself. Looks phenomenal. It looks amazing. Now, this guy, he is a Mr. Olympia in classic physique in the gym, <laughs> but on the stage, different story. Though, I think at this rate of progression, eventually he might have a good chance of cracking like a top top six top eight at the mr olympia level he's gonna keep competing i think he's gonna do texas next maybe another show i'm not sure maybe spain i'm not sure but i think he's gonna try to qualify for the mr olympia and uh, can he do it he was third or fourth last show he did uh, but uh, this time around he looks better and he keeps improving year after year, he definitely does keep improving, and if he finally nails the conditioning, and he, pre he presents his pose perfectly, as he knows how to do, it might be enough for him to win a pro show and qualify for the Mr. Olympia once again, and then at the Mr. Olympia improve a little bit more, and you know, do some damage. What do you guys think about Wesley Wisters? Can he actually crack the top 6 in Mr. Olympia ever? And what do you think about who's gonna win the Mr. Olympia in Open? Bonek, Hadi, Brammy, or Curry? Whatever you guys think, please tell me down below, let's discuss this topic. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please like it, and to see more bodybuilding content like this, I'm posting it pretty much every single day, subscribe to my channel, guys. All the best, and bye-bye.